it's, uh, it's been an exciting eight weeks. Um, first, I'd like to thank Bill again for, uh, for running a great class. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank all my classmates. Um, it's been exciting working with you all. And there's been surely uh, some interesting presentations. We've, we've learned a lot about ballroom dancing um, from Peter, um, making heavenly beds from Pantiva, um, and even ex how to make an exciting spreadsheet from Jim. So it was, uh, <laughs> it was a pretty interesting few weeks, and it really has flown by. Uh, the days I found were you know, tough on work. I'd get to this class, and I'd leave rejuvenated. Um, but I'd firstly like to share a couple breakthroughs that I've had over the past uh, eight weeks. I met with a local CEO of a, of a company about six weeks ago and um, had a chat with him at a networking event and I asked if I could come into his office and meet with him and, and present um, a product that I was selling and he said, said no problem, um, schedule some time with my secretary. So I, uh, I called his secretary and uh, she was horrible. She was awful to talk to, she was rude um, and she kept on putting me off. And on my third call, I eventually got a meeting arranged with the CEO. Um, went and met with the CEO, had a good conversation, and he liked our product. Um, and the following day, I decided to do something totally different, and I called the secretary, and I said, listen, I really appreciate you organizing this meeting for me. It meant a lot, and we had a great conversation yesterday. So two weeks went on, and I had to get another meeting lined up with the same CEO. Um, and I decided to, to call the secretary, and this time, I got a very warm welcome offer. And I said, listen, I'd love to get in and speak with Girish, who is the CEO of the company. And she said, no problem. Uh, she lined it up straight away. I got in and talked to the CEO, and uh, fingers crossed we'll have a sale coming through in the next, uh, the next week or so. I just found uh, if I hadn't have called the secretary the first time, um, I probably wouldn't have, got that, wouldn't have received the, uh, the second meeting. So that was my first breakthrough. My second breakthrough is a personal one um, with my girlfriend. Um, We've been fighting quite a bit over the past maybe five, six months, and it all revolves around golf. Um, <laughs> I like to play on Saturday mornings. Um, I really get, enjoy going out, playing 18 holes, and having a few beers with my friends. Um, she, she thinks and she says it takes way too long. And I probably agree with her, it does take you know, five or six hours. Um, so I tried to pursue a different um, way of going about things two weeks ago. I had a game lined up Saturday morning with three buddies, um, and we were playing at 8 a.m. And uh, Thursday beforehand, I was kind of dreading telling her I was going to be playing golf on Saturday morning, because I knew what she was going to say. Um, so I decided to go about it a different way. And I said, listen, um, what would you like to do this Saturday? And she said, oh, that's, a, that's an interesting question. I haven't heard that in a while. Um, she said, I'd love to go to the driving range with you. Um, love to do some shopping. Shopping. Uh, and I'd also like to go for dinner. And I said, perfect, we can, we can make it happen. Um, how about at 2 o'clock on Saturday we go and we go to the driving range? How about you know, 3 or 4 o'clock we could go do some shopping on Newbury Street and then we can go home, um, get changed, and then go out for a nice dinner. And she was, uh, she was very excited. So I said, well, that's great. You know, so our day is starting at 2 o'clock on Saturday. What do you recommend we do beforehand? And she's like, God, Angus, I mean... Why don't you go play some golf? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I finally realized I found a way to be able to play golf and have a good relationship. And uh, this past Friday, I put a ring on our finger and we're engaged. Aww. So uh, I've, uh, I've definitely learned a lot from this, this class and I hope to continue growing uh, throughout the uh, coming months and years. And thank you. <laughs>